Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Britt. This is Coffee and Makeup and today we are making body butter and we're also having a little chat about body image and body confidence. So the butter we're making today is super super simple. It's actually on request from my amazing and gorgeous mom. I make her body butters and then she makes me handmade candles like the one you can see behind me. So she's been giving me lots of empty jars back and I've been giving her lots of empty candles candle jars and we are due for another exchange so I'm making her on her request a lavender and vanilla body butter I'm not really a huge fan of lavender myself but this is the scent that she wanted so the scent oils that I'm going to use are 100% pure lavender oil which I just picked up at the organic market and then I have this buttercream and snickerdoodle scent from Brambleberry and that's what I'll be using for my vanilla type uh, part of the scent. And like I said, the recipe is super, super simple. It just has two ingredients. The first is refined shea butter. I'm using refined because I don't want the body butter to have any type of that smoky campfire smell that unrefined shea butter has. And then the second ingredient is coconut oil. And I'm using a very simple one to three coconut oil to shea mixture. So to begin, I'm just using a double boiling method. If you have a double boiler, that's awesome. I don't. So I'm just using a very tall pan, very large pan as well, and I'm filling that most of the way with water. Then I turn my burner on high, and I place inside this large mixing bowl that I'm gonna be using as my double boiler. And then I put inside there my coconut oil, which is rapidly melting already. And I like to melt my coconut oil first and then melt the shea into the coconut oil. That's just a personal preference of mine, but you can just throw it all in there at once if you want. I feel like it might contribute to a smoother textured finish, so that's why I do it. So anyway, um, body image, body confidence. So the reason I wanna to talk to you guys about this today is because it's really been on my mind. Um, I, I know some of you know this, but I had an injury last year, injured my leg, and I was totally immobile and just couldn't do any of my normal activities and I gained some weight. Not a lot, but just a little bit of weight. So I decided to use calorie counting to try to lose this weight and that was like around the beginning of this year that I tried to lose it. And um, I was actually successful in losing the weight, but I don't really feel any better about myself and so I felt like it was important to bring it up to you guys because I think from this experience I've just learned that to me at least calorie counting and just dieting in general is a toxic exercise and it really messes up your brain in ways that uh, they're really like hard for me to deal with. I'm in my mid-20s, I'm an adult, I've been you know working on myself and my communication and my mental well-being for several years now and still I had to call up my therapist and I actually have an appointment with her soon because this whole dieting thing has just completely wrecked my self-image and it just instilled all these feelings of like shame and guilt around food that I've never had before so I thought this would probably be a great topic because I know some of you guys are young, you know, you're still in high school, you're still in college, and you might be considering something like this, like dieting, and of course, it's the summertime, so we're getting all these shame-based marketing campaigns like, oh, are you summer ready? Is your body, you know, ready for the beach? Which is really just playing on our shame about our bodies, which is sad, and it's also instilling shame in our bodies which is even more nefarious, I think. So I thought it would be great to have a conversation with you guys about body image and, and how really your confidence level is not coming from the neck down. It's all in your brain is where your confidence lives. And doing something like dieting, uh, starving yourself, denying yourself food, it doesn't help your confidence at all. It's actually really hurtful in my experience. All right guys, so we're mostly liquid here. Um, I'm going to, at this point, use a pin to pop two of these vitamin E oil capsules and squeeze those in. Uh, vitamin E oil is a great preservative, a natural preservative, so I always add a bit of vitamin E oil to my body butters. 
Okay, now that the coconut oil is completely liquid, this is the time that we add our gorgeous shea butter. Gosh, I love this stuff. So anyway guys, with all that in mind, I just wanted to challenge you all today and encourage you guys to be confident today. You know, why, what are you waiting for? And if you think that hitting a number on the scale is gonna make you confident, I'm just gonna tell you it really doesn't work that way. In fact, bullying your body basically into getting to that number does not inspire confidence. It doesn't inspire trust in your body and your intuition. And it really just does a number on your self-esteem and not in a good way. And honestly, the, the times that I remember feeling the most confident in my body were times when, first of all, I wasn't, I didn't even own a scale. I was just relying on my intuitive eating, trying to nourish my body with great foods. And also, I was super active and doing things that I really enjoyed and things like dance and yoga, things that made me feel strong and sexy and I was challenging my body and I felt like my body was responding and, you know, I was in a good place with myself. Okay guys, so as you can see, our mixture is completely liquid right now, so I'm going to remove it from the heat. Then I'm going to let it cool for a few minutes before I add my essential oils and my fragrance oil. Alright guys, so while that is cooling down in the freezer, I just wanted to give my final thoughts about what we were talking about, which is body confidence. And I wanted to ask you guys to post something that you love about yourself in the comments. And it doesn't have to be related to your body. It doesn't have to be a physical feature. In fact, I encourage you to think of something else that you like about yourself. You know, we can focus so much on the physical and forget that we're a whole person, a whole complex human being with other things to offer the world. The thing that I'm gonna share is that I am a really convicted person. And as I've gotten older, I feel that I've gotten better about expressing those convictions to others and staying strong in my convictions and even defending them at times. So that's something that I really like about myself and I cannot wait to hear what you guys say because you all are such an awesome and beautiful group. I can't wait to read your comments. I'm really looking forward to it. So I started watching an episode of Twin Peaks and I completely lost track of time. So this is completely solid, which is not what we want, but I'm going to try to describe for you what you would want to see. You would want the outside rim to be solid like it is here, just completely opaque. And then you'd want this middle part to be a little bit runny and malleable, like kind of like a frozen over lake where if you were to poke it, it would just be a thin layer of solid and then liquid underneath. So that's what we ideally want, but I am going to attempt to whip this up since uh, this is what we're working with at this point. <laughs> So here it is. It just seems a shame that this stuff isn't edible because it ends up looking so scrumptious. I would say it's about the consistency of marshmallow fluff. Lots of air bubbles in here. So I'm gonna hurry up and jar this and then we're done. It was super easy to make this body butter. So for jarring, I have um, two mason jars. You can buy these at Walmart or anywhere. And then I also have one jar from like a vegetable thing that I bought. You really don't need to buy jars. You can just reuse them whenever you have them, jelly jars, whatever. And I'm just going to spoon all of this into the jars, tapping every so often to release those extra air bubbles so I can get all these super full. So we only managed to fill two jars, but in reality, it's probably more like three of these little mason jars because I use this big giant jar for my mom. And this is the only one that was really important to me to fill because she needs some body butter stat. She's made that very clear. So the last thing that I like to do with my butter is just to add like a special touch is to decorate it somehow. So since this is lavender, I'm just going to tie a little bow with this purple ribbon and then we will be done. It was as easy as that. So here is the finished product 
guys, this is my lavender and vanilla body butter. Super easy to make, so nourishing for the skin. I love to use these oily body butters at night before I go to bed, so I'm just marinating in moisture the whole night, and that way I don't feel particularly oily because I'm not awake. So I think that's the perfect time to use them. They're really simple to make. You know exactly what's in them because you made them, so such a huge fan of these. Anyway, thank you guys for coming along for watching my DIY, for talking to me about body confidence, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.